it comes to the TV show Baby Reindeer, I'm going to be completely honest and say it's an intriguing watch, but not an enjoyable one. Let's start with the positives first. The acting in this show is top notch, especially from Richard Gadd, who is playing the protagonist of this show, and it is based upon his real life experiences. And so, what we're seeing is him reenacting his trauma, which is very dark. You can't help but have a lot of sympathy for this person, as he is having to relive his own trauma, and is very few actors we see and creators to do that and so hats off to him and on the other side we see his antagonistic co-star Jessica Gunning doing a fantastic performance as playing this very unhinged character she did an impeccable job when it comes to the writing of the show it is really fucking good to the point that we can break down a particular character and their flaws in the very first episode whilst i truly couldn't enjoy the protagonist the other side characters that we get I really did enjoy whether that being Terry, who is his current partner at the time, his ex-girlfriend Keely, and her mother Liz. I really enjoyed these people because they're sympathetic characters and they just want nothing but the best for Donnie. But they realise that Donnie is quite self-sabotaging and doesn't want to help himself to an extent. And so they're caught in a situation where how can they help this man if he won't help himself and it's a challenge they're not prepared for and so they do have to make a self-sacrifice for their own peace in mind and so they're not caught in his situation they have to push him out of their lives and it's not like they find it easy to do they do find it quite difficult especially terry and especially liz as they do care for donnie but they know that he's not going to be able to fix his situation and this is the only way they can fix it for themselves is slightly selfish but at the same time Donnie is also being selfish. Now the plot of the show whilst very dark is very hooking at the same time. I describe it as like a car crash. You can't help but look but you do hope that everyone comes out with minimal damage. The tone of this show is very horror like especially when we have Donnie and Martha in a room together. The tension you're so on the edge of your seat just praying that Donnie is able to get out of this situation unscathed and not get trapped in Martha's web. The show also has a lot of humour and it's a mixed bag in my eyes as there are a lot of moments which really do make you laugh out loud but at the same time the protagonist it does a lot of this cringe comedy. It's really annoying to watch, it's quite unbearable at times. Throughout the show there are a lot of themes to notice. The main three I did was stalking which is the biggest one of all. We see this through the character of Martha and what starts off as I would describe it as lightly is showing up to his place of work continuously making it a routine pattern but then it progresses in a worse estate where she finds him on social media and begins to follow and like every single photo of his even doesn't matter how far back it goes she will like it and even leave comments underneath discussing his looks and so forth and even going to comment on photos where he is with other people whether it be his ex-girlfriend or friends and just saying mean things about those particular people. It then progresses even worse where she is emailing him consistently on a daily basis, just the weirdest things possible. Then afterwards, she begins physically stalking him, whether it be going to his place of work more, following him home and just being in the vicinity of his house. The second theme I noticed was the theme of shame. We see this through the character of Donnie as he is ashamed of his sexual taste and it's sad to say he neglects any form of intimacy that comes from this particular partner as he is just ashamed of being ridiculed for being with this particular person and then he is ashamed of his passion at being comedy, refusing to tell those around him as he is, has a fear of being ridiculed for his passion which is it's quite sad to say really. And then the last theme I noticed was the theme of lacking in self-love. Again, we see this for the character of Donnie, who really neglects any form of enjoyment and somewhat allows chaos to follow him throughout his life. And it's so self-sabotaging that he won't allow others to help him and he'll allow himself to get put into this chaos because he slightly enjoys it. Now, when it comes to the finale of this show, I'm going to be truly honest and say, 
it did anger me for many reasons. But firstly, I really enjoyed seeing Donnie finally get some resolution on his stalker and putting that to rest. And whilst we do celebrate that, we hope he does the same with his abuser. And what we think is him going to do that turns it to him having small talk with his abuser, apologising to his abuser for not showing up, and then accepting a paid writing gig from his abuser. And it just angered me so much as well. I thought we were seeing this character progress. He was improving, he was changing, but if anything, he was digressing. And it's just really such a sad state to see. And then the cherry on top of this shit sandwich is, throughout the episode, we're seeing him listening to Martha as what started off as him trying to gather evidence for the police to finally take action is now him being obsessive over her and trying to learn about her. He somewhat becomes sympathetic to her, but then they try and make the audience sympathetic to her as well which I just found very disturbed. And then they do the reversal of what happened at the very beginning with Donnie taking pity on Martha is someone taking pity on him. Somewhat saying the cycle continues or that anyone could be put in this particular situation, which I, I just, I think was a step in the wrong direction for me personally. Now, when it comes to critiques of this show, I have my fair collection. Firstly, this is the first time I've ever watched a show where I felt visibly angry towards a protagonist, as it just felt so unrealistic that someone would allow their boundaries to be crossed time and time again and not even confront this particular person about it. Secondly, I really struggled to sympathise with the protagonist of this show, as for the most part, he has put himself in these situations, which is really horrible to say, as obviously this is based on true events, that being of Richard Gadd's life story and I do sympathise with what happened but at the same time he was so self-sabotaging to the point it was unbearable and he was even putting people he was close to in harm as well and did very little to actually help them. My third critique is how I felt they borderline tried to make us the audience sympathise with the stalker. Now whilst yes there's definitely mental health at play with Martha, possible erotomania, she is still a serious stalker and it's really annoying watching this as we can see there are many attempts where Donnie could have this woman arrested and be put out of his life but because he enjoys the drama because he enjoys the affection he gets which he openly admits he allows this woman to continue this manifestation and it goes past him towards family and friends and it's really fucked up that he allows this to build and then the last episode he becomes obsessive over her and he is starting to sympathize with her and then they try to make us the audience sympathize with her by playing a particular voice note of explaining why she called him baby reindeer and that she came from quite a broken home and she had the, quite a rough childhood and I understand what they're trying to do that being show that she was a just a normal human being and that she was molded into this that it happened from such an early age and that she's trying to recapture what she had with this baby reindeer and I understand what they're trying to do but I think it's a step in the wrong direction as you can definitely sympathize with her as a person but at the same time it, it felt like they were trying to excuse her actions which I think is really borderline bad as yes you can acknowledge someone is mentally unwell but you can also acknowledge the fact that what they're doing is very dangerous I think that what they were doing was a step in the wrong direction for me personally my fourth criticism my final one is how they try to represent the police as being very unhelpful as for the most part it was Donny holding back so much that could actually help the police pursue this case and for the occasional moments the police are definitely in the wrong but at the same time the majority of the time I'm on their side as because of Donnie's lack of courage they can't make a case to pursue Martha and lock her up and because of his lack of courage people are being hurt that being in his life and so as much as all you want to blame the police for their lack of help it's also Donnie as well overall whilst the show is hooking it has got great acting and writing I do feel that it's a very frustrating show to watch especially with a protagonist like Donnie who just seems to enjoy having his life in turmoil and, and enjoys the drama and it seems like he doesn't even enjoy the good things that approach him in life and 
is sad as well as the main thing that I took away from the show is if anyone who acts like Donnie or someone who understands and can relate to him, I desperately urge those type of people to go to therapy. As that's all I was thinking whilst watching this. This man needs to go to therapy. He needs to talk to someone about why he feels like this. So is this show good? Slightly. Yeah, that's the nicest I can be with it. Rating wise, I actually can't rate it. I just I really can't think of a number. But would I rewatch this? That is a simple answer, and that is fuck no. I understand. It's a very intriguing story. I think if you have not watched it, maybe like what just watch it once in your life. It's not something I'd say to people to watch again and again and again. It definitely has not got replay value in my eyes. It was definitely hard to start and it was not the greatest way to finish as well. Just personally speaking. But when it comes to recommendations, I definitely would say Pete Davidson's latest Netflix special talks about stalking. He has a stalker encounter and whilst it doesn't dive into the depravity, it, it, it's not as disturbed as what Richard Gann went through, it's definitely still in the comedic element. It's very funny. Next, from the stalker's perspective, I would recommend the TV show You, where they purposely, in a dark, twisted way, try to make us sympathise with the protagonist of the show as the show begins and it's I think that's a clever disturbed way of making us go into the stalker level compared to how they did it in this and then thirdly I recommend the TV show Beef as it is about these two characters whose lives aren't particularly interesting but one encounter adds an exciting edge to it and you just see these characters try and one-up each other and it they dive into their worst depravities. Those are my recommendations. This has been my review for the TV show Baby Reindeer. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed, please like and subscribe. But most importantly, thank you and have a nice day.